Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, oh what babe. can it mean to what are you doing? daydream believe? I'm, I'm, I'm singing. And a homecoming queen. Um, why? I'm, I'm singing the WandaVision song. That's what it's called, right? The WandaVision song? That, mm, no. That's... Really? Yeah. I know. It's Daydream Believer by the Monkees. Fun fact, I was named after Davy Jones because my mom's a huge Monkees fan. How's it going? Uh, I'm Dave. This is my lovely fiance, Jess, and we are back for another weekly installment of WandaVision. This time... Coming to you from the groovy and psychedelic 70s. Woo! Yeah, man. Far out. Is that 60s or 70s? Far out. I don't, I don't know. It sounds like a surfer. Definitely. <laughs> There's surfers that still say it today. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, uh, this episode, I feel like it's one that you and I really, really related to. Well, yeah. Not, not, not the weird, like, you know conspiracy all you know all you know alter dimensional stuff but wanda vision having a baby as uh, as the doctor said at the very beginning she is uh pregnant yes she was pregnant and he said four four months even though like they had just gotten now as someone who this is true is currently expecting how fast does it usually move it seems like it takes forever. Oh, it doesn't? <laughs> it doesn't move very fast at all. No, if only, as Vision said, the baby would come nine months early. That would be... Uh... <laughs> that would be interesting. Boom, boom, boom. You know boom. what I wish? What do you I wish? I wish I could, like, get pregnant, skip through till maybe, like, the eighth month or ninth month, and then just be like, okay, I'm having the baby now. I feel like oh. a lot of people would probably... <laughs> Like all Agree that morning that. <laughs> sickness and headaches and seeing so, stars. It's just, no, it's no fun. So you here, you're, you're in a unique position. You know, uh, we we have a toddler. She's almost two. We have another one on the way. So your experience, can you judge how accurately does this episode portray what it's like preparing for a baby and then like the delivery itself? Like how, what, it's what did it get close. right? What did it get wrong? It's not even close. How so? Like, well, first of all, I know they're, like, magic, so the pregnancy was, like, really quick and, you know, whatever, they're magic, so that explains that. Plus, but, those superpowers come in handy. Yeah, I do like kind of Like, building the crib yeah. and, 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 and sometimes vision. sometimes when you're trying to build something and you get mad, Yeah, it's not a good scene. And and it, I, I love the scene where, where, you know, Vision's practicing on a doll. You had me oh, do yeah, that. Oh, yeah, I did have him do that. Before we had our, our, our first one. With a stuffed animal. <laughs> It was a teddy bear, and I was, like, changing diapers on a teddy bear. It yeah, was, I was uh, like, pop quiz, change the diaper. <laughs> I got pretty good at it. He did. If I do say so he myself. He, and he still is good at it. So what, what <laughs> else did the episode get well, right or wrong about the process? The whole delivery, it literally, like, again, they're magic, so maybe that's part of it, but... The whole delivery, the fact that it was like, okay, less than a minute, and the baby's already out. Uh-uh. And no. with twins, no less. Yeah. No. Um, the quickest I, the story I've ever heard of somebody giving, going, like, starting active, like, get labor and, like, actually giving the like, giving birth part, I think was still, like, ten minutes or something like that. And that's remarkably fast as well. That but happened in real life with ten minutes? It was not twins. Wow. It was just one baby, but, like, some people are lucky, and it's like, oh, we pushed, like, three times, and then it was out. That can happen. Other ones. But less than a minute, like it showed in the show. It takes all night. I was in labor, but I'm talking about the active pushing part. Oh, oh, I see. Like, the, even the people who are pushed three times. You, you mean when the stork shows up, as as we saw the yes. stork who came to life yes. from the, the painting the actual the pushing is what I'm talking about. Like the pushing of the stork through your front door if with you know the baby in the basket. Yes. 
That that is what you're saying, right? That is what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, all right. Just just so we're the, all clear. The labor part just where you're so having the contractions clear. that varies. So but pushing, I would say that's not very realistic. That it was like, I mean, again, it's a TV show. Whatever they have to speed things I, up. I love how in a show about an android but... <laughs> and a Scarlet Witch who are a married couple in a sitcom world. You get hung up on realism with how they portray pregnancy. Not, <laughs> not, not, hey, how can an android do, I how mean, did that even I happen? Did, okay, at the end of the last episode, didn't I say, wait, how did he even, like, impregnate her? He that said a is a question <laughs> and... that, no, we don't. We don't have to get into that. That's a question. <laughs> Use your imagination. That's a question that, um. Brody from Mallrats would definitely be thinking about yeah, if you remember the type of stuff he liked to think about with superheroes back in uh, in Kevin Smith's Mallrats. But other than that, I don't know that that's something that most. Yeah. The anyway. other thing that I guess in the seventies it was fine, but like nowadays, all that stuff in the baby's crib. Oh my god, that literally made me cringe. She's sitting here like you're not supposed to have all that in like, there. It's supposed to be the mattress. A flat sheet and a baby. And maybe like a sleep sack or something on the baby if they get cold. That's it. None of those bumpers. No stuffed animal. No pillow. Like it wasn't, it wasn't terrible, terrible. I've seen worse nowadays. And those people, ooh, you know who you are. Don't kill your babies. <laughs> yeah, let's get into that on this show. <laughs> I'm sorry. That really makes me mad when, like, nowadays, there's, like, literally science about SIDS and stuff, and it's like, you know better. They know better. you're choosing, oh, well, my baby, they don't move, it's fine, I'll put a blanket in their crib, I'll put a, it's not like they're really moving that much yet. Well, what are you gonna do if they start rolling over, like, tomorrow night? What if the baby (laughs) has telekinesis and can just move the objects? Because you know that their kids are gonna, if they're anything like their parents... Their kids are going to have superheroes. You know, I'm talking about real people. Okay. So, so asi- that cr- made me cringe. Aside from the lack of realism <laughs> with superhero pregnancy and birth, it was really cool and sweet to see them become parents. No, no, no. That was really I, I that feel was like, good. you know, good. we missed a lot of, like, couple moments of them in the MCU because yeah. they kind of... Like, in Civil War, they're kind of flirty, and then, like, in Infinity War... It's just like, oh, we've been living... They've been they've been a couple for, like, like two years. Like, hiding, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so, I, I, I love... And that's one of the reasons that, that you know, I like this show, is you kind of get to delve into those just kind of, like, tender, emotional, sweet moments with yeah. them that you didn't get in, in the I other really movies. That's why I really like this show. It's I like it like, because... It's kind of like um, a sitcom version of a romantic comedy. With superheroes and yeah, but weird government other superheroes conspiracies, are more like which we'll get to, and actiony. But this is just like a normal romantic comedy, and I kind of really like it. I did like it's the. Uh, I don't know if you noticed. I'm sure a lot of people did. Their house was pretty much made to look like the Brady Bunch house. Oh yeah, that, that was what they were. I wasn't that sure was cool. like which sitcom they were going for. You know, the '70s is when you start this. You, you see, I know we talked last week about how even with the second episode, you start to see certain things open up more mm-hmm. and, 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 and television evolving. Like with this one, they dared said the word pregnant, which on, uh, on I Love Lucy back in the 50s, they couldn't say that. Oh, really? Pregnant was considered like a bad <laughs> word. It was too, you know, not family <laughs> friendly. So they, they just said, oh, Lucy is with child. Oh. Or she is expecting. Yeah, people did used to say that. So by this point, uh, you could say that. And, and and you start to see kind of the modernization of television. You know, I think the 70s is when, is when it really starts. Certainly with it being in color, that was, yeah. a, that was a big deal. The whole episode was in color this time. We, we say that, like, you know, we, we don't take it for granted. But with the first sweat, you know, that was a big deal. Yeah. And and it's really cool just to see this next chapter in television history. You know, it, it reminded me a bit of uh, this really great sitcom called Soap from the late 70s, early 80s. It had uh, 
Richard Mulligan was actually what got Billy Crystal his start. If you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth checking out. And it's like a parody of soap operas, but as a sitcom. So like huh. over dramatic and kind of goofy and wacky, but intentionally so out of satire, which is kind of what this show's doing. Yeah. So it rem- especially this episode, just because that show was from the same decade, and just the era kind of reminded me of it. You saw you saw that show. Yeah, I I love that. Show. I I I stumbled upon it when I was a teenager. It was like um, it was on demand. It was like on one of the the free channels on demand. I just I, I started watching. I'm like, hmm. I love this show. Sounds like it's an interesting show. Yeah, check it out. So so. But I just, you know, like I said last week, I, I love kind of watching the evolution of uh, of TV. And I cannot wait to see what they do next week with the 80s. Yeah. Because that's going to be fun. I don't even know what we're going to be wearing then, but just... I, I really don't. You, you just wait and see. It's going to be... We're going to wait and see. <laughs> so we have to talk about the other big thing that happened in this episode. Some weird stuff was happening. We have to talk about Marvel finally having a crossover with DC. When what? Yeah, when Geraldine said a certain name. Oh. And oh. Wanda, holding a kryptonite spear, said, "Why did you say that name?" Yeah. Okay. It's not okay. exactly how it played out, but come on, tell me you didn't think of that scene when she said that. Tell me you didn't yeah. think of it. I get that. I can see that. So, maybe I've been all wrong, where we always thought, at least up to this point, that Wanda was the one kind of trapped in this fantasy, in this matrix, so to speak. Yeah, but maybe she's the one doing the trapping. Yeah, because when Geraldine says that, and and she mentions Ultron and Pietro, which, by the way, can we just point out that Pietro... Didn't get a shout out in Civil War, Infinity War, or Endgame. It took That's until why it's this so show. It's so easy to forget him. She forgot. I almost flipped. She's like, <laughs> like "Who's Pietro?" It took me a minute, and I'm like, "Do I even know you right now?" I was like, "To what? be fair, if they had, if they had said Quicksilver, you would have recognized him. Yes, better. but you yes. forgot that his first name was Pietro." <laughs> I forgot Wanda's first name was Wanda. I just thought she was the. It's Scar- literally Witch. called WandaVision. How did you? Uh, what? I, I did. I. It, it, okay. Hey, I'm watching WandaVision. Who is it? Star? Some girl Scarlet and a guy Witch. named Vision. No, <laughs> Scarlet Witch and Vision. It's not called Scarlet Witch. Vision is called WandaVision. I just thought that was a cute little title for the show. Oh my god, that is okay. <laughs> Okay, but they never mention him in any other movie. They don't. So it is and, easy and, to forget. And he finally gets a shout out here. And it feels like in that moment, poignant as it is, it kind of snaps Wanda out of it for a second. Yeah. And even the neighbors, like like Agnes and, and Herb, they know something's up. Yeah, they were starting to say something to Vision. It's like before you thought they were part of the fantasy, but... I don't know that the, it's like they know something's wrong. Yeah. And and it it kind of and then we see Geraldine like like come into the real world surrounded yeah. by SUVs and a helicopter which I'm sure we'll we'll get into. Uh, I still want to know who that beekeeper was. Maybe next week, I don't know, but <laughs> I just I I like the um Pretty much all the theories I had from last week have now kind of been disproven if we follow through with this. In that, number one, it seems like Wanda is the one keeping them there. Number two, yeah. they are aware of it. And number three, I think it's a physical place because you see her, like, fall out of this weird, like, digital portal wall thing. Kind of like Cabin in the Woods. Yeah. it's not. It's not necessarily, like... A house, like a real house, but it's more physical than we think it is. Are they like in a Truman Show style dome? Something like that. Or something. Something, yeah. So, it, so yeah, I think, not that she's like the bad guy. 
But well, she's going through a trauma. That's the chatter on the internet is that they're building her up to be the next villain. Yeah. Which I hope they're not doing because when she was first introduced in Age of Ultron, it was as a villain. So I feel like if you're going down that road... Then we, she we, didn't have any character or Yeah, we've been there. It's like, what? I like your idea better where it's just not, not that she's a villain, but just... She's going through a trauma. Yeah, for, for all we know, this takes place in, I don't know, like the Avengers facility moments after Endgame. Yeah, that's what where, I'm saying. Where, you know, she she emerges and fights Thanos again. No, not again. Endgame. Yeah. Well, no, Infinity War. No, Endgame, where, where it's that's five what, years later and no. she... In, yeah. No, in I'm talking about af, right after Thanos kills Vision. But she got snapped away. Oh yeah, and then she came back. So it would. So yeah, I guess it would have. I okay, think it would okay, because okay. when she comes yeah, back right. for her, Vision's death is fresh. It just happened. Yeah. The five years, you know, she didn't experience those five years. So I don't know what what are you hoping to see next week. I want answers. Yeah, that's what the fans of Lost <laughs> said. Look where that got them. What do you want next week that you know it can probably deliver on? I don't know. I just want answers. Like, is she trapping them? Or is this, like, a weird fantasy? Like, what is it? Where, so, what, so what, and what road are we going... What path are we going going towards? What you're saying is you want to know if She's locked in there with them, or if they're locked in there with her. Right. Like my man Rorschach. Which, after this episode, it kind of seems like she locked know. them in. But and, who knows? And then what... Because uh, she's having a trauma in her head. Vision, man. Dead. Spoilers! <laughs> Listen, like I said, if you haven't seen those movies, you're a little slow on the uptake, buddy. Okay. <laughs> So, we saw it like opening night. We did. Who didn't? <laughs> so we've gone over what we hope to see. I I know we're probably not going to get that many more answers next week. I like the kind of slow reveal of each episode. You know, getting more. Um, Those babies were definitely not newborn babies. That's that's every show ever. But <laughs> I uh, I I like the um. What are they going to be like toddlers already in the next episode with how quick they grew? Maybe who knows. Or maybe they'll age 10 years because they're going to jump to the 80s. Oh. Which, again, I'm I'm especially looking for... But nobody for else ages. Because they're real people. I don't know. Something's weird. There's a lot of unanswered questions here, people. <laughs> I mean, that, Let's that's... Let's go. That's kind of the point. Let's go. Show them the giraffe. So this right here is the same giraffe from the show. From the babies, if you watch it. At the beginning of the episode, yeah. in the corner of the room. Look for it. Where Where did you get it again? Um, I can't say. Wait. <laughs> Do you mean to tell me that this is the exact same prop that they used in the episode? That you broke into Pinewood Atlanta Studios in Georgia and took it from their set? Oh, maybe. Because if so, you were the coolest person ever. Oh, then yes. So, uh, <laughs> we'll see what next week brings. Uh, like I said, I'm really excited to see the 80s and just kind of what other shows they satirize or, or model their, their show what after. What shows could they satirize? Um, I'd love to see, if, if we're doing the 80s, I'd love to see maybe some Family Ties... Mm. I'd love to see. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see maybe some references like you know Back to the Future, Terminator, stuff Those like are that. Movies. Yeah, but you could still work. You know, Visions and Android. You kind of work with that angle. Okay, okay, that'd be cool. Back to the Future, best best Universal movie. We're not here to talk about Universal. We're talking about Disney. I know Disney Plus. I'm just saying. So uh, we will be back next week. Let us know what do you think is going to happen in the next Wandavision. Write it down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, or you too may end up trapped in a sitcom world, and believe me, it's not as fun as it looks. Especially if it's in my sitcom world. Exactly. Whew. So uh, check out the website, 
you know, www.dorkdaily.com. Follow it on Facebook and Twitter. If you're a fan of horror, you can check out our channel, Halloween Year Round. And uh, until next week, don't say Pietro or Ultron. Don't. It really makes Wanda mad. Why did you say that name? No, I said Wanda. Why'd you say that name? <laughs> Bye. Bye. I love you.